so what's going on everybody welcome back here to the channel hopefully everybody's having a great one so we are back here in the cursed forest where just last week i discovered an unknown like treehouse shed just literally in the middle of nowhere the cursed forest so uh, i did a video on this and a lot of you guys were really interested in what this place was we're just going to be taking another look around it here and uh, i actually brought a uh, which pocket is it in my gopro and i'm going to be putting it in the somewhere around here and we're gonna let it record all day and all night and tomorrow i'm gonna come back retrieve the camera itself and uh, take a look at the footage and see if we capture anything out of the ordinary so uh, as i said this is just in the middle of nowhere and uh, I picked up a little bit of trash here the last time I was here, but uh, my car is parked all the way over there and I had to kind of hike around a little bit before I made it my way here. But this is a really, really creepy place. And it's just odd to me that this is just in the middle of nowhere here in the woods, just literally in the middle of the woods. That's all, that's all I can say. It's just like, imagine, in the middle of just the creepiest Blair Witch Project woods and then just coming across this. Like, what is the significance of this building being here? And uh, it has a ladder. It's just like a regular tree house. But there seems to be no other buildings around here. And as soon as we walk up here, we see a chair. We see what seems to be like just metal, scrap metal everywhere. Just like scrap metal and a chair and... It doesn't look like anything's been touched here for a very, very long time. I think I'm going to put the camera, like, probably right over there in the corner. Uh, this camera itself has a 24-hour battery life and also memory within it. It's literally, I got the highest, highest of the, uh, the SD cards in the battery that I possibly could. So I'm going to be putting it in the corner there. I'm not really looking for footage-wise, more or less. I'm just looking to see if I can capture any, like, mysterious sounds or people walking around. That looks like an airsoft pellet holder. There's a bunch of BBs everywhere. So obviously people have been here before, but as I mentioned in that other video that I uploaded about a week ago, kind of exploring this place for the first time, is that I grew up around here in this small town. So I would know if there's like a bunch of kids that come here at night, but I know for a damn fact that nobody has ever mentioned a place like this in the middle of the woods. So it's definitely falling apart. I can tell you, like the paint. So it's been here for, uh, for what seems to be, I would guess, probably like 15, 20 years. Just in the middle of nowhere. There's a tarp on the top, moss growing everywhere. It's definitely not safe. I'm a little bit sketched out to step on that floor up there because uh, it does fall through. So a lot of people had questions on what was actually in here. So it seems to be just a bunch of like pots and like just random stuff. And then we got this plastic skeleton which people are freaking out saying that it was a real one. No, it is not a real skeleton. It's a plastic, like, skull or something of the sort. It has a nail on the very top, so that's a little bit disconcerting. But there's just trash and graffiti everywhere, and it's just nasty. And I'm guessing that's black mold up there. So I'm not going to try, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time in there. But there's a bunch of dates everywhere. Like, there's a Borf 2011. Uh, there's a... Uh, There's a May 24th, 2009 date. So obviously this has been around. So uh, as I was going to get a trail cam and put it up here so I can get a little bit better quality other than just a GoPro because GoPros do absolutely terrible in the night. So uh, we're more or less just looking for audio here. But in the near future, if I do capture something creepy up here or even if I capture something weird here at night, uh, I will be probably going to get a couple more either GoPros or trail cams so I can put them like maybe up here in the trees or something getting a good wide angle shot of this place or maybe over here or over there something of the sort so yeah this place is just really weird in general and we got a bunch of trees that came down I'm guessing that these are all the trees that came down the other night when I was here and I was just hearing all of the sounds of the trees just falling and breaking but this is truly Astonishing, just having this in the middle of nowhere. No one knows what ACAB stands for, but if you do figure that out, then let me know in the comment section because I'm still wondering on what that is. Just kind of wanted to walk around here for a moment 
There's absolutely nothing around here. It's just a creek that leads to literally miles. There's a waterfall down there. But for right now, we're just going to put this camera up here. It's currently 4 o'clock and uh, 4 p.m. So tomorrow at around like maybe the morning time, I will come back and retrieve this camera itself and uh, we will see what it holds. So uh, be sure to check out that video. Keep an eye out open for that. And uh, I don't have a case for it, so hopefully it doesn't pour down rain. So even though I said I'm kind of sketched out about leaving this here, we're going to, uh, that's a good spot to put this. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in this corner. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I put my hand down, uh, literally just like cracked. So if I were to stand on this, it would definitely fall through. It looks like a gold mining pan. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, we got a GoPro camera here covering this entire wide angle area. It does do okay at night, but it most likely just will do shit. It does really good audio. So we're just gonna leave this here and see what we capture tonight. I'm just gonna leave and let this camera roll and uh, yeah, let's take a little look-see. All right, so if you did enjoy today's video, then drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, turn on notifications because tomorrow's video, we're gonna analyze the shit out of this footage and see what we capture. I'm interested to see what kind of shit goes on here at night when there's nobody else around. So let me know if you wanna do, if you want me to do more videos like this and get some trail cams and actually get some legit footage. But this is all I got right now. I wanted to get this video out as soon as I could. And I uh, will talk to you guys in the next video. And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter and send me videos if you guys are in this same sort of predicament or catch any of this on camera. So without further ado, let's take a look at this footage and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will talk to you in the next video. So what's going on everybody? Uh, right now I'm going to be showing you the Alexa sort of possession glitch here in my room. So. Uh, for those of you, like I mentioned, I have my lights set up with Alexa, so I can just tell her to uh, to turn on the lights, to turn them off, and whatnot. So uh, I have one uh, light that is behind here, and then the other one is here that it's hooked up to. So as I mentioned, when I tell her to turn the lights on, uh, she kind of freaks out for a minute, and then she go ahead and and then she goes for it and turns on the lights and then the lights just start flickering. Like I've never seen anything like it. The only way that I can explain this from happening is literally from ghost communication. Like there's some sort of spirit that's using the energy of the lights to use to communicate and like yes or no questions where it just blinks really quickly. It just starts freaking out. And I would say that this is just a glitch in the system, but this has been happening for a very, very long time, and my Alexa has been acting very strange. It's been waking myself up in the middle of the night, asking me really weird questions, having conversations with people that aren't even here. So uh, I would say that this is just a glitch, and this week I'm going to be actually calling Amazon Live, and I'm going to be asking them questions about my mysterious activity with my Alexa. So without further ado, let's take a look and see if I can capture this all on camera. So, uh, Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. All right, so she did it this time. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. <clears throat> Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. 